Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, this is Tiff here and welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. Do you find that you crush it in practice? Like you are like a beast in practice. Like you can do no wrong. Everything's just so easy when you go to practice in your sport, isn't it? Simple. Sharp every day. Put the work in. You crush it. Yet when game day comes along, when your competition day comes along, tournament day comes along, You don't play at the level that you know that you're capable of. And it's not that you don't work hard, because you do, don't you? You work your butt off. I get it. I understand it. But why can't you crush it in competition like you do in practice? Because the reason is that that you you don't practice under pressure. That's, That's really a simple answer to that question is because like you're not crushing it in competition like you do in practice. Well, there's not as much pressure, obviously, in practice than there is in competition. So therefore, you're not actually in practice. You're actually not practicing pressure. So what I mean by that is you don't simulate pressure experiences that come up during your tournaments and competitions, your matches. Therefore, you don't know how to deal with it. And when you don't know how to deal with the pressure, then other situations arise. You panic, you choke, you freak out. So these, these, it gets worse because then your performance level drops. And we don't want to operate like that. We, we, yeah, we want to crush it in practice, but we want to like kill it in competition, right? We want to be like just so good, no one can stop us. We're so good, our opponents are trembling, right? They're absolutely trembling when they see, oh, no, here comes Tiff again. Oh, oh, no. oh she, she makes me so nervous. Imagine having that kind of, aura, that kind of power, that kind of confidence that you could have on competition day and let your opponents freak out around you. Your opponents panic around you. Let your opponents choke around you in the sense of, you know, they just hit a wall and they just can't, can't beat you, right? Let them freak out, not you. Let their performance level drop, not yours. So what I want you to think here is that it's really a a series of sequences that's going on for you right now. And what I mean by a series of sequences, it's, it's, it's your thoughts. So what's your thinking or beliefs, your feelings, so how you're feeling, the actions, so the actions you're actually taking and the results. And I actually talk about this quite a lot in my book, Focus, How to Reach Your Potential in Sport, Business and Life. I talk about this series of sequences that go on, the thoughts, feelings, actions, and results. Because I want you to break it down. So if we're in this situation where our thoughts are, we're freaking out, right? We're going going into panic. What happens when we're freaking out? Can't do this. It's too hard. I'm going to make lots of mistakes. What are the feelings that come up? What Like the emotions, fear, you're agitated, you're nervous, you're stretched out, you're real edgy, but not in a good way. What are the actions that start happening? You start missing shots. Your skill level drops. What results do you come up with? 
If you're in a team, your team loses. Your team struggles. You struggle. You could even lose. Right? So how we want to think about this is, is there's two major areas we actually need to have in check. Because if we've got these two areas in check, then we know how to deal with pressure. Okay? So the first major area is your thoughts. When it's your mindset, your beliefs. And the second area is your feelings. And what that is is the feelings of controlling your emotions. Because when your emotions are out of control, you're out of control. Like, oh, your, your head goes crazy. So those are two main areas that we need in check, Okay. Thoughts, feelings, which is really mindset and controlling emotions. But what else can we do? What else can we do? We can practice pressure situations, can't we? Because most athletes treat practice like it's just something to do, like it's not a real game, it's not the real thing. Therefore, they don't work hard enough in practice in the sense of the same level of intensity or, or perform at the same level of intensity that they would in a competition. Do they? No, they don't. And reality is in practice right now, you're crushing it mostly because there's no pressure. And I know that. I've been there. I've done the many, 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 many hours of practice. I've grinded it out. I've worked hard. But I never practice situations of pressure. At the time, I didn't know. No one, no one, no one shared that with me. Their answer, the coach's answer all the time was just, just play more matches, Tiff. Play more matches. You get more match experience. Well, I don't get more match experience if I keep making the same errors, right? Keep making the same mistakes, It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You can't, but I didn't know that then, right? So I'd just freak out in competition. In practice, I was crushing it. Could do anything. No pressure, right? And I see this all the time with golfers that I'm currently teaching as well because I still teach some golf part-time. And they want to do well. But they don't practice any pressure situations. Most golfers freak out, like if they've got to hit the ball over the water or they've got to get the ball out of the bunker. And you know why they freak out? Because they never practice those situations. They never practice hitting the ball over the water. They never practice hitting a ball out of a bunker. They never practice hitting a ball over a bunker. So when they're confronted with that situation, what happens to them? They freak out and they don't perform. Because I don't practice it under pressure. Same with the practice range. I get this so much from people, you know, from golfers. Oh, you know, I can't, you know, I, I, I practice so well on the practice range, yet when I'm out on the golf course, you know, I just, I'm just not the same player. No, nah, you're not. No pressure, right? No pressure at the practice range. Make a mistake, pull out another ball, hit another ball. Same in your sport. Playing soccer, you go for a kick at the goal. Oh, well, didn't get that one. Okay, I'll try again. Get out another ball and try it again, right? Oh, well, I didn't make that tackle. Oh, well, let's try that again. You don't get second chances in competition. You have to learn how to deal with situations then and there. You have to learn how to deal with the heat of the moment. So those golfers that I see that really struggle out on the golf courses, that they, they never put themselves in situations. They never practice being out on the golf course and handling s- certain situations that come their way. Most likely you're not doing that too in your sport, right? You're not putting yourself under that pressure. You're not putting yourself in situations that you need to be practicing so that you can deal with it when you're out competing, so that you're crushing it when you're competing, not just in practice. When do you want to perform at your best? 
yeah, we want to perform well in practice because it builds confidence, but where do we really want to perform best? In our tournaments, in our matches, in our competitions, right? As a team, if you're in a team, as an individual player, if you're an individual player like a a, a tennis or a, a golfer, for example, right? So there's three areas that you have to go and work on right now. So number one is your mindset. So you have to work on your mindset during competition and for competition. So that's the first thing that you've got to do. The second thing that you've got to do is you've got to learn to control your emotions. So you need to learn how to deal with situations that are going to come up. The third thing that you're going to have to do, number three, is you have to practice pressure situations. You have to learn how to deal with pressure. So if you are struggling with your mindset in your sport, you are freaking out under pressure, you get nervous, you are fearing mistakes, you get paralyzed because you're so worried about how you'll play, you're confident in practice but you always lose confidence in your in your competitions and your matches, your tournaments, you can't make it all work in your matches like you do in your practice. If you are so frustrated because you can't understand why you are not playing better than what you should be playing then you need to come over to the free training a successful athlete masterclass and you need to put in your name and email address and get started on that today not tomorrow today and you have to do it now because what we do is we identify why your mindset your beliefs about how you are playing poorly in, in competition so that you aren't being held back, so that you are confident in your competition. We look at the type of emotions you're struggling with and how to cope with pressure situations. And we devise a well-crafted plan. We put that in place so that you are crushing it in competition just like you are in practice. So if you want that successful athlete masterclass, you want that free training, Go to tiffanymika.com forward slash Sam, as in S-A-M, Sam. Go there and get started now, okay? I want to see you there. I want to see you there doing it. So I'm going to leave you with that. I want you to dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams, have an absolutely awesome day, take care, talk soon. And go to that Successful Athlete Masterclass right now, tiffanymica.com forward slash Sam, S-A-M. Talk soon. Bye for now.